Welcome, welcome to Kitchen Home. Did you miss me while I was gone? I missed me too. Today we're going to address several problems that teens and tweens and children and everybody experience these days. And kicking us off, we're going to start with the subject of cyberbullying. Or in this case, android bullying. Or just droid bullying. I guess droids use tablets sometimes? Well, to help us out with our research today, we've invited here one of the top people in his asteroid field, Galen Erso. Erso, Erso. Or something like that. Oh, you're not in hiding anymore, right? No. Okay. Just checking. So, how can I be of assistance? Well, I'm glad you asked that. We'd like you to read a few mean tweets from some of our droids out there. And, uh, well, can you read them for us? Uh, all right. Uh, Hypercom 123 says, So, when is this Death Star going to be finished? I keep hearing about it. I think that Galen Erso is just trying to buy time so he doesn't have to get back and get a real job. What does he define as a real job? Ah, K2SO! So nice to see you! Um, Galen, you seem less than pleased. He is less than pleased. We have been assigned to be partners. I am being very helpful. We have varying opinions on what defines helpful. I am being helpful. I see. Um, <clears throat> well, K2SO, we were just uh, reading some mean tweets about uh, Mr. Galen Erso here. Are they from droids? Yes, they are. Don't look at me. Helical Hysteria says, Galen Erso, he too old to be an engineer. He's got gray hair and everything. Now that one rings true. You do have gray hair, but you also have a gray beard. You need a shave. <sighs> 56 BBY says, I'm so tired of hearing about Galen Erso, that talentless old farmer. Go back into a hiding. I think you should go back into hiding. Though you weren't very safe there either. You know who else isn't very safe right now? Uh, Galen? Uh, next one. Clone Boy says, uh, Clone Girl was busy, I guess. Uh, Clone Boy says, Is it true that Galen Erso said research is the only thing I'm good at? Well, that must be true. That Death Star is taking light years. Isn't that an excerpt from a letter to your wife? How would you know? It was a guess. A lucky one. Your luck's about to run out, Trash Kid. Hey, Kay, let's not... <laughs> Kitchen 33 says, Am I the only one that thinks Galen Esso was hot in that uniform? Oh, that's, uh, nothing there. That's, that's nothing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so tell me about your nemesis. Or I mean your boss. Eh, uh, nemesis, boss, whatever. Yeah. Now, why does his name sound similar to yours? That's true. His name does sound similar to yours. No, it's also... Um, also... You made our point. Since when did you get on this? Haven't you got a button to adjust? Not for 24.3 more minutes. Oh, longest 23.4 minutes of my life. Well, yeah, his name's Orson Krennic. So does he give you a hard time, or is he pretty okay to work for? Well, I'm afraid he's in his kind of drives that. You see, I work for him, and he works for someone else, and someone else. Right up to nine. Yeah, to the top of the empire. Right, exactly. I'm just, uh, wrong. You're not wrong. No, uh, I'm wrong. Like, a wrong on the what? On the ladder. Oh, okay, I got you now. So where do you come from? A galaxy far, far away? <laughs> Actually, yes, I do. I grew up, um, my mother and father were very, very, what's the word? Supportive? Yes, thank you. They were very supportive of my, um, my mind. Well, that's good because it seems to be failing you right now. I'm just a little tired. That's true. He fell asleep twice when we were working together. That was out of necessity. How do you mean? Because if I wasn't asleep, I would have been killing you. Ah. All right, guys, uh, this brings a whole new meaning to the word, uh, cyberbullying. But I'm an android. Yeah, I know, but you're so particular. That's sort of his thing. Well, I guess it's kind of your thing too, right? From time to time. Oh, I get ya. So tell me, <clears throat> how many flaws have you put in the system? I've put no flaws in the system. Oh, right. No, I, I, I really haven't. No, no, of course not. Of course not. How many? No, I, I really, I have not. Oh, I know that. I know that. But, uh, really, how many? There is one flaw in the system. Shh. You're going to get us killed. I can do anything you can do after all. That is true. I guess anyone could annoy the heck out of me. You, as a human, are too illogical. It wastes time. Say that to me and blink. Krennic, it is nice to see you. In that way that it's always nice to see someone who is ruining your life. Now who should keep quiet? Still you. Yes, I'm getting along with my partner very well. What? A problem with the system. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I asked. Pardon? Yes, I won't get on it straight away. Is this like the peanuts where, like, all the bad people, like the teachers, don't talk? Yes, just checking. Peanuts cannot talk. Oh, is that 23.4 minutes up yet? Are you going to tell Kitch about the mistake in the system? No, I was not going to tell her about the mistake in the system. Do you know why? Yes, I do. Well, then why am I sitting here whispering? Perhaps you lost your voice from the last time that you yelled at me. Forgive me. We should work together on this. Otherwise, it will never be done properly. But I thought we were trying to do it improperly. Could you not? Could I not what? Gee, I don't know. Tell our whole plan over the airwaves. We're probably being recorded. Um, boy, guys. Should have told you before, but, um, what? Nothing, nothing. Um, so yeah, well, thanks to our guests, Galen Erso and K2SO, and uh, we'll see you guys next time, if the Death Star doesn't explode, on Acts of Purpose. I like this word, Acts of Purpose. Will you stop touching that? Will you please stop touching that? You don't know what you're doing. I assumed you did not know what you were doing, seeing as you were not doing it. Well, now you're in my light. Get out of my chair, before I kill you Acts of Purposely. Sometimes things can be hard to relate to. 
least we forget the terms from the olden days. Bundle Bunny, Hep, and Drive, just to name a few. Anywho, we at the Kitchen Home Show thought it would be a good idea to present to you our version of a literary classic. You'll have to bear with our guest, however. He's never read the script before. Uh, Leon, or is it Leon? How do you do? It's Leon. Okay, Leon. Say, didn't I see you play Zeus once? Well, that was on uh, the no, that was Liam Neeson. Oh. What was that? Nothing. I probably saw you at that Christmas party, standing by the piano, singing with a bunch of guys in the 18th century garb. That's where I know you. That could have been me. You mean definitely was. Well, here's our version of the script. Thank you. Oh, I, I think there's been a mistake. This is Emma Bovary. Yeah, that's right. Well, will Emma be coming here today? No, no, don't worry. I, I know you two hit the skids. So I'm going to save you the embarrassment and, uh, and read the part myself. Oh, okay. I'll just start from the top. W-T-H, Lay. You can't be serious in those threads. M, what's your deal? You have absolutely no chill. I don't have the bread. But we have to go to the party. I have serious FOMO. Fear of missing out. I'm sorry. You're my bae. But I'm on my grind, dog. I, I told you not to hassle me at work. Chillax. BTW, that ship we know will be there. Spill the tea. I heard their best friend was throwing shade. Seriously? I live. Apparently she called them basic. That was rude AF. Did they overhear or nah? Yes. Well now we have to go. But not in that suit. Buy yourself something on fleek. Okay. Squad goals. Laters. DM me. YOLO. So did you like it? I I'm sorry? DYLI? I don't even know what they're saying. Come on now, this just happened to you last Thursday. Did it? It's all right there in B&W. Is it? Okay, can, can someone help Leon out of the building? He looks a little confused. <sighs> S.Y.A. So see you around. I think he needs new glasses or something, because that made perfect sense to me.